to that we have already yeah. in the session ended with the timing and you still carrying on without telling That's me or informing me ma'am we have ended and uh, let us disconnect no <laughs> thank no. you so much you know uh, i i shouldn't be saying this but i left out of my college and i was waiting for one of my friends so it was almost 15 20 minutes that i was waiting outside the gate and the students of the same college of the same college it's mumbai you see it's mumbai but the students of the same college who were quite younger to me quite younger they would be in class 12 mm-hmm. or 13 i could make out easily but you know the way they were staring the mm-hmm. way they were passing comments in good okay okay yeah. hello good evening good evening very good evening to you kavita what happened did you lose your earrings or something no i was finding my earphones <laughs> I kept it near my. I thought who stole it, and my brother picked it up. <laughs> so I'm <was laughs> telling you, nothing else. Okay, you tell me that. How have you been? Mm-hmm. I am doing great. Thank you so much. I can see a board behind you. Are you teaching? Oh, this board. Actually, you know, before I used to take tuition classes, but now as I don't uh, have enough time because of university class, I don't take tuition anymore. So that is the board for that. Tuition class. Very nice. <laughs> Happy to know that. And tell me how have you, you been? How's so everything with you? Okay, I am doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Everything is going quite great. However, you know, like uh, I think I told you that before. My university classes have started recently. This month only it started, and like it's too far okay. away from my home. You know. Like it takes oh. about a uh, two and a half hour to reach the destination, so okay. I have to, uh, you know, yeah, I have to be ready and get up from my home at about seven mm-hmm. to seven thirty. Then I reach, uh, you know, my university at nine thirty, and my classes start at ten. So everything is going quite busy, you know. I am having a hectic schedule, and it's something new for me because before my college was near to my home, you know, it was not so far away. So I woke up very nicely. Had a cup of tea and just you know I was la- you know just I was being very lazy, but now I have to be a bit you know active than before. So it's quite different for me. What about you? <laughs> If I have more worse journey than yours, then what to explain? <laughs> you find it so difficult and hectic. Then if you ask me, I wake up five in the morning and I leave around six in the morning. Please, I travel to various places in the same day. So early morning, I have to leave my house at six, and I reach at eight. So morning two hours in travel, and uh, after eight, I have my lecture until eleven, and again at eleven, I leave, and I have to reach other place at one. So from one to three, usually the lecture is held, and then after three, I have to leave to my last place, and there again, it takes two hours, and from five to eight, I have last class, and then I come back home until ten. so my schedule oh my is basically involved with the traveling plus working so i do that both but now i'm habituated to it in the beginning it was difficult to adjust because i had to eat out the most difficult task and the compromise yeah. with your health is not done in terms of earning money so you have yes. to take care of your health too so suddenly i felt ill also in the beginning when i just started and then oh. i am now accustomed and now everything is going well but i don't even complain okay, because it's my own choice to do all these things on the particular day itself so i could reduce my work but i have undertaken all this so it's my responsibility to handle it without complaining <laughs> so i am doing that <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. You know, even though you are having a very hectic schedule, you are just trying to accustom yourself with your busy schedule. But still, you are having that good smile every time. You know, I am just shocked because you of that, that. Kavita. You are not possible. Why? Uh, I feel like why is this credit only for me? Why isn't it for you? Because you also do the same task. <laughs> we are apart by the ways we do, but the. physical labor what you're carrying out throughout the day is equivalent to what i am doing so it becomes the same task entire day okay <laughs> okay now this is like you cross question me now it's becoming difficult for me to answer <laughs> but thank you so much kavita for asking that question 
you know because you also once told me that i think when we had session before like no matter how much difficulties we face in our life it's always important to have a positive attitude towards people mm. right okay attitude yeah. today i posted one video do you understand hindi yeah i do uh are you able to speak or you only understand is there any hindi speaking population nearby to your locality uh ha mujhe hindi aati hai par acche se nahi thoda samajh mein aata hai thoda bol sakti hu <laughs> very nice uh, as much as you can speak is also sounding very fluent and nobody can make out that you are not an hindi speaker so very good very good i just posted one video on my youtube channel today regarding this negative feedback and uh, i would request if you go and make your one minute free to watch it because it's just of 60 seconds maybe you know uh, it's in hindi sure. it's in hindi similar sure, to what you told me right time. now mm-hmm. okay i needed something like that you know i was surely after this session this will be my last session for today okay. i will surely watch your video yeah okay ma'am thank you so much now you say uh, you say me uh, that uh, what is your plan after one or two years are you planning to travel somewhere or is assam so much so much liked by you that you don't want to go out travel plans are okay, you willing to travel some day or meet me my actual question is <laughs> okay okay so first of all you know if i have to speak very honestly i come from a family where you know my uh, not my mom but my dad he is very very conservative okay so firstly and you know the more uh, you know till now the place where i traveled alone that is i had solo travel is to my college only <laughs> by myself same myself. is the case yeah. with me and same is the case with me stop saying conservative <laughs> they are so much restrictive towards where i am going with whom i am going and how will i go when will i return how many people are i mean like i feel like no i don't want to go anywhere i want to sit at home <laughs> no question and no answer i'm not going anywhere so if somebody ask me that we are planning two to three days trip out shall we i'm yeah. like no i can't even if i want to Same. no 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 not allowed I don't even want to ask my parents because if I ask them, there'll be one entire lecture over it. Why am Why yeah, am I yeah. traveling? Or the bad consequences? The list of bad consequences in front of me. Yeah. And I'm like, पहले बोल देना था, नहीं जाएंगे, नहीं जाएंगे. It happens like that. What's the case with you? Similar case actually. I don't need to explain. I think after what you said, it's totally you know copy paste. you know in my case what happens is that like one day my friends they planned a trip okay together and it was the last trip because of our batch you know we were the final batch for ba as we were about to complete bachelors then all will go to their own own university okay uh, so what happened that they decided that let us go to this place that is uh, there is a particular place called sunitpur okay mm. it's it's near okay near Uh, uh like it's a very beautiful place okay famous for its natural beauty so they are like okay let's go we will just leave there for two days and then come back okay and then i was like really guys i didn't even go with you to restaurant alone and now you are asking me for two days travel what do you think they will allow me and then when i asked this to mom she was like now you are grown up now you are uh, mature enough to take your decision yeah go where will you listen uh-huh. to me where will uh-huh. you listen emotional to black me? male emotional black male right yeah. exactly and then i and was like you know, the ultimate solution go. i feel it would be the same in your case mm-hmm. after you get married you go wherever you want we won't even yeah. see you yeah. we won't even come to your place you do anything you want i'm already fed up with you you leave exactly right that's correct <laughs> that's very funny you know because this is the particular dialogue that i often hear from my parents they, they are like uh-huh. once you get married we will not say anything to you only you go wherever you go we want to stick to right right <laughs> yeah, so i feel marriage is the I ultimate think... freedom for girls like us yeah. and uh, that to luckily if we find somebody who is compatible to what our thinking is and they wish the same yes. or else if he too becomes conservative doesn't like to travel doesn't want to go i mean the complete life of a woman is under control of two families in the beginning her parents and after that her husband exactly. and in-laws 
so you know she has to compromise her life sitting at home thinking that it's not in my fate then blame fate for all these things yeah yeah that's right the that's where we will use the hindi word rehne hi do right just leave Rehne. it it's better you don't go anywhere <laughs> yeah exactly so i think it's quite clear we are quite similar in this case so as you said that uh, have you ever plans to travel anywhere in this years i'm like uh, you know sometimes if i get the chance if some day my parents if they think that i am grown up enough this is their love only but still if they sometimes they are like okay you can go then i will uh, surely go to meet you you know i will surely travel uh, to maharashtra to meet okay. you <laughs> let us see yeah. who gets married first and who gets the chance to go first yeah. so none of us are coming alone <laughs> we are coming in pair <laughs> because we are not allowed to go anywhere yeah. alone so when we are approaching each other for any particular reason we will be in pair <laughs> that i'm not alone i have husband accompanied exactly. so please shelter him also yeah. if i'm coming <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, this is what we have a valid explanation, you know. We right, can do solo right. traveling. We have traveling pair, right? Some people have adopted this Western culture, and parents have become liberal, and they have started thinking like uh, that it's okay to provide equal opportunities. Let like girls also go, but you know, our parents are somewhere correct sometimes because the world isn't safe. Yeah, isn't safe. Honestly, this would be a harsh come. statement but it is true. it is true yesterday itself i had my exam yes. and uh, i i shouldn't be saying this but i left out of my college and i was waiting for one of my friends so it was almost 15 20 minutes that i was waiting outside the gate and the students of the same college of the same college it's mumbai you see it's mumbai but the students of the same college were quite younger to me quite younger they would be in class 12 okay. or 13 i could make out easily you know the way they were staring the mm-hmm. way they were passing comments in group i felt so bad i felt oh. so bad and one of them was trying to approach and until he tried approaching okay. i mean i was on call and talking to my friend where is that person so uh, he came with the vehicle i mean so i just had to get in the vehicle and come back my to uh, come back to my house so when he came when he came yeah. one one boy you know he loudly passed that comment and he said that Oh, she has a husband. No use of trying. Like what? Oh, okay. you know. Then I feel like there is no use of getting in the matter or uh, spoiling my own image in front of them because these people have nothing to do, either with their life or either yes. with anything. They are here in college just for names sake. Their parents might have admitted for some X Y Z reason where they have come and they are executing yeah. what they actually want to do in their life. so i feel like no there's no mm-hmm. use of saying anything let's go and then i went so india is unsafe everywhere everywhere you never know right i mean we call it a liberal country equivalent country with equal opportunities but still there is something which our parents bother about so i feel they are sometimes okay in their way they are scared they are scared yeah Yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, Kavita, like many times it happened with me. Like uh, when I used to travel from my home to nearby college, at that time also I heard many people passing remarks. Mm. Eventually, when we are walking alone, at that time it happens right, a lot. Right, right, right. So right, that's right. The, yeah, my mom has a very strong kind of gut. Exactly, I totally agree. Every time it happens, there isn't any time where you will not expect this thing happening. You know, every time it will happen. And you know, my mom she called me and said that okay, uh, Disha is my you know, uh, it's my nickname. She said that okay, Disha, I'm I'm just feeling like something bad will happen eventually. Please wait for your dad to come. Okay, mm-hmm. he will mm-hmm. drop you off at home. Okay, mm-hmm. and I was like, no, nothing will yeah. happen. Mom, I'm coming from my home to college. I'm just traveling regularly. Mm-hmm. Nothing is happening. Mm-hmm. And she said, no, just wait at your college gate. Mm-hmm. Then you know, like that day only when I was waiting for my dad, some people they came mm-hmm. in front of the you know gate. Like some people they mm-hmm. came and they were just passing remarks, and I felt so so bad. And you know they mm-hmm. were like the way they were staring. It made me feel uncomfortable from all the you know parts mm-hmm. that made me feel uncomfortable. And then I was like, it's better that that comes soon. And then when he came at that instant moment, I just went away with him. You know, just mm-hmm. see if I would not have listened to my mom, maybe something bad mm-hmm. would have mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I totally agree. It's not safe at all, and in this case, our parents are correct, hundred percent correct. 
right uh, they want our protection they want our safety and there's nothing could be done we say i mean there are hundred reasons to say no to it but but you know society proves it right every time by committing some of the other what yes. do we say crime everywhere right which frightens us exactly so anyway right. this topic is something that it is disclosed once it will go on and on <laughs> So I feel I just uh, you know forget about time. I was like, oh, it's you told me it's seventeen. Okay, okay, that's already my seven. achievement. That's <laughs> my achievement. I feel so good. I feel so good <laughs> with it. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, you know, Kavita, I uh, wish for the best because I just hope uh, your smart will always remain like this forever, and you will always be this energetic and cheerful, Kavita, no matter what. Mm-hmm. And I just want the best for you. The best will happen to you. Okay, just don't be stressed same out. You mean the way you are. Same for you. I mean, my same wishes <laughs> towards you. I mean, I cannot pour it out, and I do not have enough time. Maybe next time, when I book another session. 